This is Captain Soban of the fleet, Farron Shah. We have arrived in Sector 112 and request targeting data. Hello everyone, this is Captain Soban. Welcome aboard to Starship Be Normal Prize for another episode of Command & Conquer. So, uh, before we start, just letting you guys know, still dealing with a slight bit of a remnants of a cold. So my voice might sound a little bit different, you might hear me sniffle a little bit, I apologize about that. I'll try to edit it out as much as I can, but um, there's only so much I can do. Uh, so anyways, let's get back to the game. Um, uh, we, in this game, we have an MCB, which I just deployed into a construction yard, which allows us to build our um, base, uh, because we actually finally got permission to use this. We've let Seth know that uh, we are an evildoer just like him, and we are all about the Nod cause, and we want to show these GDI here in um, um, uh, Egypt. I was going to say Europe. <laughs> We're not, definitely not in Europe. In Egypt that we mean business. So let's get rid of these guys. I built a power plant which provides power to our base that you can see right there. I'm currently in the process of building a Tiberium refinery which is used to harvest uh, Tiberium and which is used to generate income uh, so we can continue building things. Fine, fine, I'll put it over here. Happy? And then the other ones we have are Hand of Nod and Silos. I gotta find some Tiberium so our guys have something to do. Uh, Handum Nod is basically the Nod Barracks. Uh, it's used to train infantry. Silos are used to hold extra Tiberium uh, because the refinery can only hold a thousand and a silo can hold 1500 and they stack. So if you have two silos and a refinery, uh, then that means you can hold 4000 Tiberium altogether. Uh, so, uh, next thing I want to do Building. is. Build a hand of nod. So we can build some infantry. And this is only the second mission, so I'm sure this is all we can do. As we get further and further through the campaign, more buildings and more units are, are unlocked, so we can, you know, have a more difficult time handling all this stuff. Uh, I think I'll put this right here. So yeah, now we can build mini gunners, who are these guys. They're the ones that shoot things, and they're basically our main infantry at the moment. And then engineers, which are used to capture things. Uh, so we can use engineers to capture the enemy base if we really wanted to. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, let's get another refinery going so we can make, make some more money. I generally like to have two uh, refineries going at once with two harvesters. That way I have lots of income coming in at, at a time. Oop, that guy's probably going to die. Yep. Kill them! Ah! Alrighty. So far looking too good, looking pretty good. Will I have enough money to get this next refinery built? Come on! So close! So freaking close! Construction. Yes! We had just enough money. Alright, so we're putting you right here. There we go. Now we just need to wait till we get more money. So if any of you guys out there have ever been to Egypt, I've never been there. Um, I would like to go there one day to see the pyramids. I've heard they're pretty nice. And just see how they're made back in the ancient times, whenever calculators and heavy machinery wasn't made. It's I find it pretty fascinating that uh, like old ancient culture, like we're able to do so many cool things without the like technology that we have. Like we we can develop a computer that can build a pyramid for us and then send it and send it like over Wi-Fi to a like every construction vehicle and be like, I want you to build this and they'll be like, okay, and then build it for you. Back then, all you had were muscles, um, maybe some rope to pull the, yes, the giant stones up. Yes, and uh, they somehow made it like they somehow did an amazing yep. job with it. Yes, sir. I mean, I know there's a lot of conspiracy theories that go around saying, oh, they had help from aliens, they visited us and they made these perfect pyramids. But I'm still one of Building. the people that uh, believe that back in the day, um, a lot of these uh, construction things construction. were done uh, by yeah. hand, because Building. if you put your smarts to it, you can literally do just about anything you want to. I'm going to build about four of these silos. I, I tend to have two silos per uh, uh, per Tiberium refinery. Oh, and apparently we need a power plant too. 
construction okay. complete. Get that going. Building. Oh, and uh, when you're low on power in this game, uh, this one is pretty bad because over time your stuff will start taking damage. Um, it's like it's like the low power complete. makes it to where you can't do your maintenance. And also, base defenses later on in the future will um, not work, and it takes longer to build things. So yeah, having a little power building is really a bad thing in this game. But anyways, back to the back to the Europe Unit talk. Ready building. Um, or not the Europe talk. The uh, Unit ready. the uh, Egypt talk. Um, I I think it's pretty fascinating that people like had the ability to make such awesome like uh, landmarks um, just because you know it might have been like a pharaoh Building. or something that wanted it that wanted it done in their honor or something like that you i don't know back in the day Building. like back in like the early ad days that that was a big influence to get things Unit. done Ready. it's like Building. oh i better get this done or the pharaoh is going to banish me from the the uh, place Unit. so a lot Ready. of people just Building. just obeyed their leaders because uh out of fear but I truly believe humanity is a um, is an amazing race, and if we all come together and put our heads together and stop worrying about you know racism and stuff like that, I believe we can do anything. Building. Alrighty. Um, let's see. Unit ready. Building. We need a few more of these guys, and I'm probably gonna get ready to attack the enemy. Unit ready. Because like I said, this is only mission number two, so it's gonna be pretty easy. Is all we really have on infantry. Building. It's like, what are Unit some other ready. amazing landmarks that humans Building. have made? Um, the Leaning Tower of Pisa uh, is pretty cool. Um, the ready. Eastern Island Stone Heads Building. are pretty cool too. Again, I've never actually seen any of these in person. I just Unit know they exist Building. and think they're cool. Unit ready. Building. Alrighty, how many infantry do I have? 10, 15, 20, 20. Building. I'm gonna build about 5 more. And we're probably ready to beat this level already. Unit ready. Building. Unit ready. Building. You better come in here. Unit ready. There we go. Building. Okay. Unit ready. Building. So one more. Unit ready. ready Alrighty. Let's get ready to attack the enemy. I'm gonna build a couple more in case they sneak in, so I have something defending my base. Unit ready. Building. Unit ready. Building. Ready. Let's do this thing. Unit ready. Leave the enemy bases up here. Where's the enemy harvester? Generally, the harvester is nearby. Building. And the enemy base is nearby. Unit ready. Building. Unit ready. Die! Die, Jedi scum! Die! Oh, apparently GDI in car language actually means something completely different. I've seen a lot on, the, on like a lot of the new foreign cars, like the Mitsubishis, um, Nissan maybe even. But apparently, I, I forget exactly what it means, it's something to do with the engine. But, uh, um... But it was like, yeah, every single time I see it, I just take a global defense initiative. Because that's what it always meant to me as a kid. It's like, oh, it's GDI, global defense initiative. But apparently, it means something completely different in car language. Who freaking knew? Ah! Alright, kill that so they can't harvest. Kill their base! Hurry! He's using his harvester to kill me! Die! Stop running over my people! Thank you. There we go. Kill him. Alright, kill this. 
Like I said, this is only a mission too. It's pretty simple to beat. As we get further through the game, the enemy bases will get more compl complicated. Um, it'll be harder to get through. We'll be able to build different units in order to, um, you know, try to beat the enemy. We have to bring these guys up here. Do 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 do. Kill you. Kill that. I probably should kill the barracks, that would be smart until he stops making units. Alrighty. Is this all that's left by the enemy? Did I already beat this level? Wow. This is awesome. Okay, that was fast. <coughs> Getting ready for an airstrike. Wasn't the most efficient and it wasn't the best leader. Oh well, we still got the job done. Alrighty. Captain Shubun. As you can see, the one above it, um, I've already done this mission before, but I didn't like the way I recorded it because I didn't think I commentated it well enough. Plus, that was like when my when my uh, cold was like really starting, so you could really hear it. Um, so yeah. There goes that. Africa! Okay, we progressed a little bit more in our African domination. The GDI progressed a little bit. Alright, what territory are we fighting now? Does anyone know the name of this territory? I personally don't. I don't know too much about Africa. I know this is Europe. I don't know why I just... Why do I keep calling uh, Egypt Europe? That is just so stupid. I know this is Egypt, and I know this is South Africa. I was about to say South America. <laughs> and, and yep, that's about my African knowledge. <laughs> so as you can tell, uh, I'm not the best ge uh, geographical illiterate person, I guess that's a good way to say. Uh, so what are we attacking? Sudan. Okay. I have no idea. I don't know too much about Sudan. I know there is a guy named Sudan Hussein. Uh, who isn't from Sudan. He is a terrorist that attempted to attack America. Uh, so yeah, that's, that has nothing to do with Sudan, so never mind. <laughs> Let's just get into the game. Kane is going to be pleased to hear how skillfully you've handled yourself. Thank you. And a word from me to Kane goes a long way in the Brotherhood. I'm sure it does. These walls imprison many friends and members of the Brotherhood. Free them regardless of cost. Okay. Overwhelm the prison, but leave it standing. So, can I literally throw people at that prison to free it? Does that work by any chance? Motorbikes! Humvees! No, those aren't Humvees, those are buggies. And tanks! Alright guys, um, well... That's our next objective. We are invading Sudan to try to free up, free some non-prisoners um, for some whatever reason. That's what Seth wants us to do. So um, since he's our boss, that's what we're going to do. But anyways, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, please leave a like if you did. If you like what I do, consider subscribing. Check out the other videos on the channel. And if you want to support me directly, there's a Patreon in the video description you can check out. But anyways, guys, until next time, this is Captain Soban signing out. Attention fleet, Makan has found Valcora Gate. The coordinates are 11344890. We'll send everything we've got, but be advised, we are a mining vessel. It would be best if we did not have to move directly into the